Hi, welcome to the third tutorial on urban network analysis. Um, this is on how to import OSM data um, into Rhino using Elk, um, which is a plugin to, to Grasshopper. So the first thing we want to do in this tutorial is to open um, OpenStreetMap in online. Um, you can find this by Googling OpenStreetMap or tapping OpenStreetMap.org and then what we want to do is focus in on the area that we want to get our data for. So I want to get it for Dandenong, which is an area in Victoria. And it should zoom in on the area. So this is Dandenong, the suburb here. And so the next thing we want to do, because we want to get the data from OpenStreetMaps, we want to click export. And we want to go down to here and select manually select a different area. So adjust this um, selection tool to select the area you want to export and then click export. And so that should download um, an OSM file into your downloads folder. So from here, we're going to open up Rhino and everything we're going to do is in the top view. So we'll double click top view to open up this area. So to get our data from OpenStreetMaps into Rhino, we're going to have to use a plugin to Grasshopper. So if we go to tools and then to Grasshopper, um, this is where we'll be working um, and I've downloaded um, Elk and Elk2 um, as a plugin. Um, you can find a um, tutorial online how to do that. So I won't cover it again. So the first thing we're going to do is to double click on the screen on the grasshopper um, window and type path and we want to select um, the second option file path. So this, uh, this one allows us to link in our OSM file um, into grasshopper. So if we right click on the file path bubble and say select one existing file, we then can find the OSM data that we um, exported from OpenStreetMaps and click open. So that'll link our um, OSM file into Grasshopper. The next thing we want to do is to go into our Elk2 um, drop down menu which you can find here. So Elk2 will appear in extras. It won't have its own um, title along here. So it'll be extras, drop down in Elk2 and click location. And we want to click back into the Grasshopper window to put um, this in the right spot. Actually, um, we're going to go to the drop down for Elk, not Elk2, and select location and click in there. So the first thing you can do is to click on your file path on the right hand side and click and drag to join up to your file P text. Um, so this will link the data you have into this next stage. So the next step is to go to our drop down button for elk and to select highways and click into your window. Um, so what we want to do is link your OSM point data and your OSM data um, to that bubble. And then we want to double click again and write polyline, select this option. And we want to attach the motorway, so click and drag 
to the vertices. So, um, and we want to have, um, so if you select the polyline bubble and um, use control C to copy and control V to paste, um, it's a quicker way of having another um, polyline option. So um, then we want to click and drag from motorway links to vertices. Um, and we'll do this two more times for trunks and for trunk links. Our next step is to double click and type curve. And then we want to connect our polylines to this curve. Um, if you try to connect two into one without doing anything, it won't work. So what you need to do is um, hold shift and then connect them that way. So the next thing we want to do is to double click again and type um, custom preview. So this will allow us to see um, in um, which I've already got because I just tried it. Hang on. The next thing we want to do is double click and type custom preview. Um, select that one. And this allows us to be able to view all this data in the Rhino screen. So I want to hold shift again and connect um, each of the polyline um, bubbles with the custom preview. So make sure you're holding shift. And then the last thing in this step is to double click again and write color palette, color swatch, sorry. So select color swatch. Select a color you want the roads to um, appear as and then attach that to material. So then if we go into and click into our Rhino screen and go Control Shift E, then our all our highways will show up actually in um, our window. So what we need to do is um, repeat this step for not only the highways but the major roads and minor roads and railways if, and any other um, information we like because we're only doing networks for UNA. It'll just be um, minor roads and major roads that we'll put in. Um, so I fast forwarded through the next steps, which is pretty much copying the same steps, except with the different um, starting um, areas of major roads and minor roads instead of highways. So here we can see that we have our highways in bright red and then our major roads, they're appearing in dark red. So we'll just do the same steps again, but with our minor roads. So we'll put them down here and we'll do the same steps again. So now that I've completed that, you can see that our minor roads have turned up in a black. So one of the things that we have to go through now is at this point, we can't select any of this data um, on the actual Rhino screen. So one step before I, um, before I bake it into the the screen is to actually rename the curves as what they are. So, highways, 
rename this one. So right click on the curve um, button and then rename to what you want it to be appearing as. So right click. So what we want to do now is you see if I click on the curves that all the highways are selected in green. So what we want to do is right click on highways and select bake. So this is where we can select layer one and we can say um, that we want to bake it to layer one. So click OK. And now this should mean that we can actually select those networks in Rhino. So if we flick over to where our layers are on layer one, just hide right um, grass up and down here, you should be able to turn on and off the layers. Um, because we still have Grasshopper open, it's showing the selection um, in Grasshopper as well. So we can't turn them quite on and off yet. But in the layers, I'll name this one highways because that's what we just baked to that. Layer two, I'll double click and rename major roads. And layer three, I'll double click and um, rename my minor roads. So I'll flick back into Grasshopper um, and do the same steps for major roads. So we'll right click, select bake, and because we've actually put those um, layer names in, we'll select major roads, click OK, and then we'll right click on minor roads, bake, and select minor roads, OK. So that's all that we need to do in Grasshopper. Um, so we'll save that. Um, and give that a name, so Dan Dinong OSM, and I'll save that um, to my documents to find the space to put it. And then when we come back into here, we can see that we actually have all of the networks um, in Dan Dinong have been baked into the actual Rhino file. So we can see that they come up as ways. So every interconnection, um, every intersection, sorry, there is actually a stop in the polyline and we need this for um, the um, urban network analysis to work. Um, one other thing is that it's actually chosen the um, layer colour as its colours. So we might actually just change all of these highways. We might change it to black major roads, we might come up and choose dark gray, and then minor roads, we might choose gray, except that's, we'll choose light gray so that we can see it. Um, and so that's how you use um, the ELK tool um, in Grasshopper to get OSM street data um, into Rhino. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, there are further tutorials on how to set up for urban network analysis and then how to actually run the analysis. Um, so go and see those to see more.